Hello, everyone. So I want to give you guys some of my thoughts, which I have been contemplating for <laughs> years now, and that is that uh, America is becoming a country full of trash, full of trash. And of course, there are going to be people who will respond to me and say, well, there's trash everywhere. Yeah, and you're right. There is trash everywhere. But I'm not talking about the rest of the world. I'm talking about America. America has become a nation of trash. And I think that this, to a certain extent, is more dangerous than other countries becoming trash because... Uh, <laughs> because the trash of America will influence uh, the trash of the rest of the world. Anyway, what do I mean by trash? Um, what I mean by that is that uh, too many Americans will glorify or will express excessive sympathy to criminals and to destructive and evil people. And I have seen this numerous times. We have all seen this uh, numerous times. Uh, a great example of this is the cult of George Floyd. George Floyd was a guy who uh, robbed a woman's house, burglarized a woman's house, and uh, his partner in crime uh, pistol whipped a woman as her house was being burglarized by uh, George Floyd's gang. And people said, oh, you know, he was trying to find a, a new life. You know, he moved to uh, Minnesota to find a new life, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it was quite obvious that this really wasn't the case because George Floyd tried to rob a man of a pack of cigarettes. He went to some Middle Eastern guy's uh, store and gave a fake $20 bill so that he could buy a pack of cigarettes, or really so that he could steal a pack of cigarettes. That is predatory behavior. It's predator behavior because he was trying to take advantage of someone's ignorance. And the way that I would describe, or the way that I would define predator behavior is when someone tries to use the ignorance of someone else or the naivete of someone else to take advantage of that person, to exploit that person. Uh, uh, child molesters, uh, uh, pedophiles will do this. They will take advantage of the uh, innocence of, of children to uh, uh, victimize those children or, or really damage those children, to molest those children. Um, all criminals do this. All of them do. Uh, thieves do this. Scammers do this. These are all predators in their own way. And George Floyd, when he gave that fake $20 bill, he was being a predator. He was trying to take advantage of someone to take something that he wanted. And the business that he robbed called the police. The police came and George Floyd would later die. Um, now, people were revering George Floyd, justice for George Floyd, and they were trying to make it out that he was some kind of saint. It's just uh, trash. People worshiping trash. Uh, all of these funerals for George Floyd, people putting flowers on his grave as if he was some sort of hero. Um, another example, one that is more recent, is the one of Joseph Rosenbaum. Joseph Rosenbaum was shot and killed by Kyle Rittenhouse in the Kenosha riot. And uh, Rittenhouse is still on, you know, he, he's still going through his trial. We have yet to see what the verdict will be, although I think that Rittenhouse does have a strong defense for self-defense. The reality is that Joseph Rosenbaum wasn't anything great of a human being. I mean, he wasn't really someone that we should be feeling sorry for, in all honesty. Um, the guy was a serial child rapist who literally anally raped children. 
and I am not exaggerating this, you can look this up. He spent, uh, I, I want to say, 14 years in prison for this. And to me, I don't think we really lost anything <laughs> because of what Kyle Rittenhouse did. Um, but you have people who are talking about justice. Justice for Joseph Rosenbaum. Who cares about this person, really? To, I mean, to be perfectly frank, I, like, like, that's my that's an expression of what I believe. It's just people revering trash, feeling sorry for trash, sympathizing with trash. It's like these women who uh, they find a guy who's a criminal, and they're like, "Oh, uh, I really love this guy because he's a criminal." And it's like, "Well, he's a criminal, and he's violent, and he's a drug dealer, and..." Oh, but, um, you know, he has a soft spot. It's some sort of mental illness. It's amazing that when, it's like, if a man were to f fall in love with a female criminal, we would probably call that guy crazy. But if a woman does it, it's like, oh, it's, it's her motherly instinct. No, it's just people are becoming more and more f favorable or, or favoring towards trash. That's just the reality. Um, it really is that simple. I remember years ago, I think this was back in 2015, uh, there was a priest in Chicago who was caught possessing uh, uh, child pornography. He, of course, was arrested, but his congregants, or as they say in the Catholic world, his parishioners, were surrounding the church protesting his arrest. And they were saying this man was a great priest. He was a holy man. He was a holy priest. No, he's a damn child molester. He's a predator. What is this but people feeling sorry for trash? And there's so much of this in the United States. So much of this. People will... Oh, God. People will look for, for loopholes and try to take advantage of the legal system to get away with crimes. A lot of people do this sort of thing, and they will they will esteem themselves as victims of the injustice of the system, while at the same time they will mock or they will condemn the police. What is this but people elevating their own criminal behaviors and attacking the system of actual justice. So, for example, I have met people who were very critical of the police, and when they were critical of the police, they would act as if they simply were critical of the police because they did not like injustice. You know, I I don't like the... Co and, and the way that they would talk would go something like this. Um... I don't trust cops because of how they can mistreat people. Or, I heard one guy tell me this, and he was a, a trad Catholic. He said, I don't trust the police because when the U.S. government begins to persecute Catholics, it'll be the police who will be doing the persecution. So that is why I don't trust the cops. And if you hear that and you're a Christian or a Catholic, that may sound very upright. It may sound noble and righteous because, well, you know, he just doesn't want Christians to be persecuted. But then th this very person will, will turn around and say, well, I also don't like how cops are this way and that way and this way. This dog starts barking once I do a video. But then this very person gets arrested for some kind of crime, um, and then he'll say, well, they came into my house without... Uh, he, he'll say something like, they came into my house, and I'm not even sure if they had a warrant. And if, if I find out that they didn't have a warrant, then their entire case against me is not valid because... You know, they came into my house without a warrant, so the whole thing is not valid, and I can and, and I can just slip right through the prosecution. It's like, well, that's a that's low class behavior because you're not t you're not having any sort of sense of accountability for your actions, which is the reason why you got arrested in the first place, and you simply want to use a loophole to 
bash the legal system and then get away with whatever crime you could have committed or that you did commit. And that is just weaselly, low-class trash behavior. And there's so much of this in the United States. And I've seen people act this way. I've, I've heard people talk this way. Oh, the cops are blah, 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 blah. And they themselves are criminals. And they themselves will commit injustices against other people. But then once they get... Here's the thing. They will commit injustices against other people. And then when they, when they get arrested, it's like, well, I'm a victim of the, of the legal system. Uh, I've seen this behavior before. The reality is that there's just there, there's just so much trash in the world, you know, in, in general in the world. But in America, there's a, there is a lot of this. There's a lot of this kind of stuff. And um, it's just psychopathic, narcissistic behavior. You can hurt other people, but once you get arrested, you're the victim. All the people that you hurt, all the people that you damaged... Oh, no, 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 that, that doesn't matter. I'm going to try to get away with it by trying to find a loophole. And I'm not saying that there are no good people in America. There are plenty of good people in America. But what worries me is how the culture of trashness is just, it's expanding its presence. And this is one thing that really concerns me. Anyway, you guys just heard some Theo Alaji. God bless.